This Pride Month, the Denver Gay and Lesbian Flag Football League has something to celebrate. The league's popularity has skyrocketed in recent years and roster spots for its spring season filled up in 14 minutes. Pretty popular with more than 60 people on the wait list. Nine News reporter Jaleesa Arizari shows us why this league is more than just a game. Strawberry color. Not all of life's transformations are so obvious. I worked too hard on those eyebrows to, to start over though. So. <laughs> Josh Derrick knows sometimes the biggest changes. Red is not my normal color actually. Um, are the ones that can't be seen. I was working my student job and decided this is the day I'm going to come out to my family. Well, come out to my mom. I called her like 30 seconds later kind of freaking out, like, oh my God, did you get my email? And she's like, uh-huh, sure did. And what, what about it? <laughs> I was like, well, what do you think? And she's like, well, I kind of, kind of always knew. That's the thing about finding identity. It'll be good, all right. No amount of makeup. Yeah, this is, this is really the point where I'm like, there she is. Can cover it up. Pixies, Pixies arrived. Today's look comes with a different name, but it brings with it the same passion. The skies over Cranmer Park see every Sunday. And, and stop! For hundreds of people, right. this park turns into a church. Let's go, guys. And a flag football game go. is the service. Go, 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 go. Sunday is by far my favorite day of the week. Good job, babe. Josh is one of the many that keeps this ritual. A game may be the driving force behind the Denver Gay and Lesbian Flag Football League. <laughs> But it's the connections that are worth celebrating. I, I'm trying not to get emotional. It's just really special. And it honestly, this league has saved my life multiple times. And I know that it's saved other people's lives as well. And so it's just, it's really nice to have a community that comes together, um, centered around sport. Um, but really that just uplifts each other and is there for each other whenever we need it. We're really here for community and sport is our is our engine, right? It's our like vehicle to like drive that. So Jody Turner gets what Josh is talking about. You have your run. Run is still open. She's Wait working on the sidelines oh, this season, but signing okay. up for this league 10 years ago was the best play she ever made. I think it wasn't until I found the DGFFL that I really was like, okay, now I can just be me, right? I can live my authentic self, not be judged by anyone. Life has changed for Jody. It's obvious. Yeah, that is the year I got into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, As she reflects year, on all the wins oh, along the way. In. Let's see, make sure I get the dates right. Jody is a nine time national champion with the league's travel team. Football has been in her blood since she was a kid in Louisiana. My dad, who also passed away in 2014, is why I love sports, right? He was the one that always had the sports on. He was the one in the backyard throwing the ball, learned, teaching me how to play golf. So it all started there. Where it started is far from where it went. This year, Jody stood aside the first openly gay person to announce an NFL draft pick. I'm joined from representatives from the National Gay Football League. The historic moment was captured on national cameras, but it's a text that Jody sent to her fiance minutes later that proved football is more than a game. And I text Shelby and I said, I just like, I mean, it's gonna choke me up. Like, I really feel like dad's here, you know? Um, and it sucked to not be able to call him and share like this crazy experience I'm about to have or afterwards, but I know he was there. Moments like these are better than any trophy, greater than any win. It's truly about just inclusion and feeling safe. And I finally found that safe place that I could just be myself. To be able to show up in a place and really just be able to be yourself um, and not worry about what other people think. Life changing and life saving in those ways. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Charlie? At the league's annual fundraiser, transformation is on full display. Athletes can become performers. The friends watching can form into family and everyone can really see people who have always been there. This family is too important to all of our anniversary. Jalisa Rosario. Cheers, guys. Drink up. Nine years. <laughs> All right, so as I said, the spring league filled up in 14 minutes. They do have a fall league as well. Registration for that begins on July 15. Jordan is joining us now. I know that you've been handling 
all of the stories for Pride Month. You've been very busy, but you also played in this league. I played a few seasons in this league, and I got to say, I had chills watching that because they were so spot on. You do find yourself in that community. They're a very special group of people. It is really impressive to see what they do and on and off the field. They're incredibly competitive, by the way. Yeah. That's not just a fun league. I mean, <laughs> they go out there and they go hard. And by the way, it's not just LGBTQ plus people. There are a lot of allies that play in the league as well. And then you go off the field and you have a lot of fun, but they also really help you and find and accept yourself. Yeah. And like you were talking about, we got a lot of great stories that are coming up this month. And you're really going to learn about the people behind these stories. You're going to learn that there's so many layers, just like anybody else. There are layers to the LGBTQ plus community. We don't even all agree with each other on what should happen. We all have different personalities. We all have different interests and in what we want for our futures and things like that. And you're going to learn that through a lot of different stories right now where we, we spoke with uh, Matthew Shepard's parents. I think mm -hmm. that's a story that a lot of people remember in this mm -hmm. area. And so all these years later, 24 years later, we're going to catch up with them kind of on the efforts that his name still is ringing with people and why it matters maybe even more today than it did even just yeah. a few years ago. Um, and we're also working on uh, educating people about different legislation that is in the works right now. But also mo mostly what we want to do is we want to show you the humans yeah. in the LGBTQ plus community. We want to show you the hearts. We want to show you we're really not that different from, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little teary <laughs> to say this, but we're not that different from maybe people who don't understand us um, or, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but maybe people who fear us or are uncomfortable. You know, that's what we really want to do is we want to break down those barriers mm -hmm. and show people we're just like you and um, that's we, great. we want the best. Yep. That's We're great. We're all people. We're all people. It's the same blood. Well, we are friends. looking forward to Pride Month and all the stories that you've been working on. And uh, and, yeah. and some other people I've been working on. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, tease ahead. So tomorrow we have a really cool story for It Takes a Village. So last year you shared your coming out story yeah. with our 90s viewers, which was very brave of you. And now I got the opportunity to interview your mom, Mama Cass. <laughs> and she just talks a little bit about your story, but also how it didn't really change how she loved you and supported you and she has advice for other families and it's really just going to be incredible. You're now you're just trying to get me to cry right now. <laughs> That's what's happening. Amazing. I, was, <laughs> I feel so honored to have like met her and interviewed her and it's going to be a good it takes village. I'm tomorrow. excited to see it. Yeah. Looking That's forward awesome. to that. All right. This Pride Month, we'd like to hear from you, too. Send us a personalized video message. It's on video. It's just going to be greater, right? You can send it, uh, send us a text, too. But send us a video message about an LGBTQ plus community member that you love. Your video might be used online or on TV. Just go to 9news.com slash pride for uh, more information.